Hi everyone. Today we'll see how to protect your newly connected box instance using Microsoft Cloud App Security. We established that connection in one of our previous videos and today we'll see how to protect box. First of all, simply after connecting the application, you already have a strong level of protection. The built-in anomaly detection policies apply and any other policy that you configured for Office, for instance, would also apply to Box. Now, of course, there are scenarios that apply specifically to Box. And to make your life simpler for this, we decided to create some policy templates that you can very simply enable. We're gonna see a couple examples here today. So you can find that list by clicking on the policy templates under control and just type box to filter the box related ones. Let's review a couple of them today. We'll start with non-protected password shared links in box. To enable it, simply click the plus button and the create file policy page just opens. The settings are already pre-populated. Feel free to browse through them. You're also able to apply governance actions if you like, such as for instance, removing that shared link in this case. For the sake of that demo, we'll not apply any governance. We'll just try to review those files that currently have a non-password protected link. Now let's create another one. Back to the templates page, and again, searching on box. This time we'll try to detect unauthorized watermark label changes in box. In box, watermarks are a way to apply protection labels to your files. Now let's click the plus button. And here we have an activity policy that is created with the settings automatically populated. As you can see, we are looking for watermark changes here. Now we have chances to believe that the user may be compromised. You can suspend it and then you can create the policy. Now we've seen the pre-built templates that you can use to very easily add value to your MCAS deployment. But of course, you can also configure your own custom policies. Let's see a quick example on how you can very easily apply a simple DLP policy to your files stored in box. Let's go to the file page as we are here and we are filtering the files on access level. We're only looking at files that are public or external and that are stored in box. This shows us all the shared files in box, but so far we have no idea what's in those files. So let's create a file policy, use those same filters and apply some content inspection. We will try to protect all the files that are stored in box that are shared and that contain a credit card number. Under inspection method, we will choose data classification service and then choose a sensitive information type. Our type here will be credit card number. Then under governance action, we will choose apply classification label, applying an Azure information protection label to make sure that the file is protected wherever it goes. Then we click the create button and we can now let the policy do its work. Now we can give some times for the policies to apply and then we will see what kind of matches we get. Let's start by searching one of the policies we created earlier, the non-password protected links. and it appeared that nine files matched our policy. Let's check them out. Let's take the first one as an example. So right away, we can see that Megan Bowens is the owner and the file is in box. We can see that it, one collaborator is displayed. It's actually a shared link, which means that actually more than one user can access this file. From this page, you can get more information you can see the direct link and you can see any other policy that would have been matched by this file. At this point, your next action would usually be to either contact the user and try to identify why this file was shared or simply unshare it as an administrative privilege. We hope this video was valuable to you. Please stay tuned for more on additional apps you can connect to MCADS.